when I started my company with my two friends, I decided to create eDigging, the first free DJ app for the large public. The idea comes from a passion. I used to practice DJing during student party. And at this time, I don't find a very easy to use and affordable solution for mixing. Today, we have more than 60 million downloads. eDigging is the most downloaded DJ app. We are present in 182 countries, so I'm very proud of my team. When we launched our apps on Android, it became the largest contributor for our growth. We earn 50% of our revenues on Android platform, and more than 70% of our new downloads come from Android. Our mission is to provide great music tools for music lovers. We think that what made our success possible in Android is the fact that we really put efforts in designing great and quality apps for our users. And this was also possible thanks to the tools that Google Play is providing to publishers. Material design was a great improvement for our designer team. It was a more unified and smooth experience. It made them really discover and love the Android world. Audio latency is really important for us. We are designing music applications, so it has to be very responsive and very reliable. For DJ apps, you need the latency to be very, very low. The one trip latency is the audio gap between the time we generate the sound and the sound actually came out the speaker. On the new Android Marshmallow devices like Nexus 9, Nexus 5X and Nexus 6P, we are done 20 milliseconds latency. Thus, we are able to provide an application more stable and more reactive, so it's usable for DJ professionals. We developed MixFeeder this year. It lets you mix and scratch directly from your smartphone or tablet via Bluetooth. On Android Marshmallow, developers are able to be part of the speed negotiations between an Android device and MixFeeder. Other platforms have a minimum of 20 milliseconds for their Bluetooth connections. We were able to reach 7.5 milliseconds latency. We have the best experience on Android platform. We initially had a freemium business model, but we started testing the advertising model, working with AdMob. We multiplied our revenues by two to three, depending on the app. We love Google Play because we can interact with our users. When they comment or leave a review on the store, we can answer to them directly and we can upload an update very fast. And that's something that's real asset for us. Today, DJIT is the 10th largest music app publisher and our ambition is to be the number one within the next two years. Thanks to the audio latency improvement on Android, we're able to develop new music apps for users and we can't wait for this.